All right, Greg, thanks for that. Now, some riding still way too close to call this morning as the ballot counting continues today. Elections BC says the official results won't be available until after the final count takes place in a couple of weeks. Andrew McPherson is more on uh, voter turnout and some close ridings that are still way too close to call here this morning. Andrea? And Kyle, down at False Creek, people are now milling about making their way to work and school and trying to figure out what the heck happened last night. As far as the numbers are concerned, we know there were about 1.8 million votes counted. The Canadian press is reporting the early voter turnout numbers are about 56 percent, just above 56 percent, I should say, compared to about 55 percent in 2013. More than 600,000 ballots cast during the six days of advance polls as well. So a lot of people now learning that for the first time in 65 years, looks like BC has its first minority government. We're asking, how do you feel about that this morning? It is what it is. I'm, I don't think I'm going to be too, too affected either way. I thought the Liberals were probably going to take it just by default, but uh, it's good to see people are out there trying to make a difference. I didn't expect a majority, that's what I'm sure. I'm not a, you know, a large majority. Um, I just want good government, uh, housing, uh, medical, health care, education, uh, mostly housing for people. Uh, I'm homeless. <laughs> And we've been saying this the whole time, and it really does make a difference here. A great example as to why every vote counts. The Courtney Comox riding, take a look at this. The NDP candidate won by just nine votes. In the Maple Ridge Mission riding, there's a difference of just 120 votes. So the absentee ballots, they still need to be counted, and they will be counted between May 22nd and May 24th. And if there are different numbers to report, we could have some you know, different updates in writings around the province. Kyle.